Good afternoon and welcome back to Mother's Day Magic Mystery Hostess Party. Uh, this is Rhonda. I'm with Calliope's Creations Magnolia Design Company and today I am going to show you how to use the inks on a t-shirt. Um, I've done some inks on some little tiny cups so I can show that to you and it's basically the same process doing it on this except it's just a little bitty cup. Um, except setting the uh, heat setting them are both different. I'll go over that with you as well. But, um, let's see, make sure I got all my stuff here. Uh, yes, uh, to become a the grand prize mystery hostess winner here, everybody that places at least a $30 order on the shopping um, link that I'm gonna have um, down in the comments here, if you have a $30 purchase and that's without tax and shipping and handling that's just the products uh, your name goes into the bowl for a drawing and whoever's name comes out of that bowl will be my mystery hostess for this event and they will get the thank you gift uh, and they depending on how much the the party turns out to be they will have a plethora of other prizes to choose from as well uh, you get to certain levels and you get um, X amount of half price items. Uh, you get the potential for buying the, uh, it's kind of the, the main hostess gift, which is a collection of a lot of our accessories. And it's really awesome because there's like three of the things in that accessory kit I don't even have. Um, so it's it's really kind of a, a cool thing so make sure that you invite your friends tell your family all your crafty friends the thing about it is you can even tell your uncrafty friends because everybody can make something beautiful with magnolia design so let's get started with our t-shirt now the stencil that i'm going to use today is sarcasm is my love language <clears throat> that is so very true. Um, I speak very fluent sarcasm. Um, sometimes people don't get it. Sometimes people think it's, you know, I'm being rude or ugly. I mean, it's just who I am. Um, I get a little sarcastic from time to time. Um, but it's just, it's just how I am. That's just who I am. So this t-shirt is going to be mine. So this is a t-shirt I actually got from Walmart. Uh, it's the, the Gildan uh, brand. Uh, it's actually a very good quality t-shirt. And they're like $3.50 a piece. So it's an inexpensive t-shirt too. Um, they've got them in a lot of different uh, colors, a lot of different sizes. They go from, uh, I've seen some extra smalls there and I've seen them all up to like 2X. So they've got all kinds of sizes. Uh, if they don't have it the day that you go, go a couple of days later. They'll probably have something new. Now, you will see on the back here, I have written sarcasm so that I know when I am ready to put this back on its, um, its surface that I'll put it on the right side. Now, normally, and this is a brand new stencil. I've never even used it before. So, normally, whenever we are using new stencils, we use our little tacky towel to put some fuzz on it so that it won't stick to the surface that we're about to do well this is fabric as well as this so it's really not going to make a difference oh i got some fuzzies on my shirt here let me get them off so i don't ink them to it permanently so you don't have to fuzz your stencils if you're doing it on t-shirts or tea towels or like on a cap uh blue jeans blue jean jacket, you know, anything like that. It's, if it's going on fabric, you don't have to fuzz it. So I'm going to fix it up right about in the middle here. They tell you the kind of rule of thumb is to have about a hand width between the bottom of the neck and the top of this. So you want to want to work within that realm somewhat. And then I'm just gonna take this and spread it down. Now, the absolute best way of doing this, I don't have. And that is using one of the t-shirt sticky mats. Uh, we have those as well. We have a small t-shirt mat and a large t-shirt mat um, that you put on the inside. It's got a little bit of sticky on it so that it holds the t-shirt steady while you're doing all of this. 
it also keeps the ink from going through the t-shirt and getting onto the back side. So, since I don't have one of the tacky mats yet, and that is definitely on my list of things to get, um, I have just a piece of parchment paper that's in between, um, or inside the t-shirt, I guess you could say, in between the two layers of the t-shirt. So I have the parchment paper in there. So if I do happen to get a little bit heavy with my ink here and it goes through, it will stop at the parchment paper and not go onto the back side because then you would ruin the whole thing. So you just wanna lay it down and you wanna make it nice and flat, no air bubbles, no wrinkles in the t-shirt. If you have to, press the t-shirt. Uh, a lot of times I will press tea towels before I will stencil them because they're, they've been folded up or they've been, you know, kind of rolled up or something. They just got, you know, lines and creases in it. And so I just press those to get it out. It just makes your um, stencil go on so much better. Now, I am using three different colors on this. Instead of it just being a one color and just poof and do it and that's it, I'm using three different colors. I'm using black, I'm using the amethyst orchid, and I am using the ruby red. And I am gonna start with the black up here at the top. Now, before I even open my jar, I am going to go ahead and get me two or three wet wipes out and ready. For whatever reason, <laughs> there's my collection. Um, black ink, black chalk paste, it sticks to everything that I have. It, I will have it on my hands, I'll have it on my face, I'll have it smeared somewhere. Now, unlike our chalkboards and using the chalk paste on it, if you get ink on the outside edge of this or you just make a drip somewhere, it's going to be permanent. So, you'll just have to live with the boo-boo that you make. Um, because it's not going to come out. And if you try to take a wet wipe or something and try to wipe it, you're just going to smear it and make it worse. So if you do it, just go, mm, happy little accident and just go on with it. So, get my squeegee here. I've got about three in here. There we go. That's the one I want. Now, with our chalk paste, when you open them up and you're trying to use them after you've open them initially. You have to give them a stir, make sure they're the right consistency and all this, and you have to give them a little squirt of distilled water. This is our continuous mist sprayer. That is awesome. Uh, and stir it up and make sure that it's gonna be well. With our inks, you don't have to do that. Our inks are in good shape from the beginning. They stay creamy, they stay smooth, unless you just end up leaving a lid off somewhere. Now, I am going to take a stir stick, and I'm just going to kind of get it all off the sides, and I'm going to bring it down toward the metal. But you'll be able to see how creamy this is. I mean, it's just, it's just creamy, creamy. It's just, it's very nice. Now, I'm going to get a little out from over my t-shirt so that I don't smear something somewhere. Now, the ink has a little more viscosity to it than the um, chalk paste does. So, it's, um, it's going to be a little more stiff, and it pretty much stays that way. So, don't think anything's wrong with it. That's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, making sure I don't have any ink on me already. So, I'm going to get a big blob of ink here. There we go. <laughs> and I'm going to carefully cater it over to here. And we're just going to do this top section that says sarcasm and the little lines that go with it. Now, you don't have to push very hard. And you don't want to continually go over the same spot over and over and over again because you can actually make the ink bleed under the stencil if you do too much. So, I'm just carefully trying to go over it and get my ink where I need it to be. I'm gonna take off some of the excess there. I'm gonna go upward a little bit so that I can get this little section down here at the bottom. And just like with the chalk paste, you wanna make sure that all of the areas of silk screen is covered up. And I'm just going to take off some of my excess here. 
There we go. And get it back in the little pot. I'm going to use one of my little wet wipes. And we'll get this ink off of my squeegee. There we go. I'm going to make sure I don't have any on me. Oh, there's some. Okay, I'm going to throw that one away. All right, I'm going to lay this one over here. I'll get to it in a bit. Should have cleaned it up when I was doing the squeegee. Okay. The amethyst. Ah, there we go. Is going to be kind of the center section and the arrow down here at the bottom. So I'm going to get a little bit. And get it in there. And it's also going to be these little lines outside the love part. A little bit more. I get quiet when I get close to some of these little areas where everything is kind of all smooched up together. Because I don't want to go over into the silk screen. of my next area where I'm going to have a completely different color. There we go. Now let's get my arrow down here. There we go. I like that so much better. Put a little bit more right there. You just want to kind of look at it and make sure that you've got a, a good covering on everything. Make sure that you've gotten all the way to the edges. All right. So that's in good shape. Here, grab the other one. Okay, and I don't have any purple on me. So, two for two right now. And then we'll get my red. Oh, and it's brand new. I haven't even used it yet. Oh, Lord. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Where is. My little set of scissors. Well, you'll do. I had thought I had already used this one. Obviously, I was wrong. So I'm going to bring this over here to the side. You're not going to see what I'm doing. It comes with a little silver tin seal to it. And so you just have to kind of cut it off and... Yeah, yuck. Ew. All right. Ink everywhere. There we go. And I'm going to get some of the ink off that lid back into there. All right. I've got red ink all over me. So I want to get that off before I touch anything. And now I'm starting to kind of sweat it a little bit because I still need to get this off of here because I don't want my ink also drying into the silk screen. So we're going to get us some of the red. We're going to go over these other areas. And we're going to finish this up and then we can peel it and reveal it. Yeah. 
I usually try to make sure that everything is ready before I get started, but I did not even think about removing the lid on this red ink because I thought I'd already used it. Well, I probably thought about using it. <laughs> I just didn't. So it was, it was still new. All right. That last little edge right there. There we go. Get the extra back in the little pot here. And kind of go over it just a fuzz. Just to get some of the excess off. And there we go. Now we're going to wipe this one up away from the t-shirt so that you don't get it on anything and I'm going to roll that one up because it's the black one and I'm getting rid of it. I needed four not three if you get out too many wet wipes you can always put one back Check my hands here, make sure I got everything off of me. All right, we're going to start up here at the top. Now, also with the little sticky um, t shirt pad, it makes taking this off a lot easier too because I don't have anything sticky underneath, so my t shirt wants to come up with my stencil. So I have to have one hand up here and one hand kind of getting this. I get it loose all the way across the top like this. And then I hold my t-shirt down. I grab this in the middle and I'm going to get ink on me, but that's okay. And then I just come down all at once until it's off. Now I'm going to put this in my little tub of water down here ink side down, sticky side up, there we go, and that way it can soak in that until I get ready to do something with it. All right, another thing that you can do is you can kind of take it off kind of slowly and you can check areas. I've got a little place on my M that didn't quite get enough ink, so I'm going to doctor it. I'm going to use one of our little... Um, squeegee brushes they come uh, this is another part of our accessories it's also in the the super hostess um, gift if you have a certain amount and all of this then you can get these uh, it comes with everything else oh before I touch anything I've got to get the other ink off of me <clears throat> but I'm going to use my little squeegee and I'm going to fill in the little void spot that I have on the M I don't even know if you can see it or not See if I can raise it up. On the bottom leg of the M, right about there, it's got a bit of a void. I can't pick it up and take it any closer because all this is still wet. So, yeah. If you can't see it, just know that it's there. So I'm going to open up my black ink. I'm going to use this. This one is kind of like a little flat paintbrush-like thing. And I'm just going to get just a tiny little bit of ink on the end of it. And then I'm just going to touch this up and fill in the void. Now, nobody would ever know that that had a void spot on it when I first brought my stencil up. I'm going to kind of look at everything else, make sure that it's all good. Looks like I cut off the top of my A over here, but I'm not minding it. And if anybody is going to be looking at my shirt and say, mm, you cut the top of that A off, I'm going to tell them, I said, you are standing far too close to me. If you can see that, you're standing too close. Get away. So that will be my, my gauge to make sure that these people stay away from me. 
All right, so we're gonna clean that off. And what are you? Why are you there? Ah, okay. Looks like something from my black ink paint pot fell off on it. All right, so now let's see if I can pick it up and turn it around for you to see it better. There we go, and we'll get a little bit closer. Sarcasm is my love language, and that it is. Now we're going to put this aside right over here because we're gonna wait for the ink to dry completely and then I'm gonna use uh, another piece of parchment paper on top of that. I'm gonna heat my iron to the cotton setting with no steam and I'm gonna iron it three minutes on the front side. I'm gonna turn it inside out, three minutes on the back side. Then it's heat set, you can wash it, wear it, no problems. Love, love, love that. Now, when you're using ink on ceramics, whether it's a, you know, a little cup or a plate or anything of that nature, you have to heat set that in the oven. Now these are a little set of cute little tiny cups that I got about a month or so ago. There we go. And this is a cute little yellow one. I mean, this is, how tall is this little fella? I mean, it's like two and a half inches tall. It's a little bitty tiny cup and it's just so cute, but I stencil with some of our spring words on here. This one's got bloom. Uh, there's six cups all together. So you've got like flower and bloom and happy and, you know, stuff like that. So I used all the spring words, not necessarily Easter type words, but more springy words. But you do the same thing. You clean this off, just like if you're going to put a stencil on uh, glass to etch it. You clean it with uh, alcohol. You put your stencil on it, you put your ink on, you take off the excess, you peel off your stencil, and then that you let this set for 24 hours. Just put it up somewhere for 24 hours, let it dry. And then you're going to put it in a cold oven. You're gonna set it on like a, a cookie sheet or something like this. And you're gonna set it in your oven when it's cold, close it up, Turn it on 350 degrees. When it gets to the 350 degree temperature and it dings at you, set yourself a timer for anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. Everybody's oven's gonna be a little different. Um, I usually do mine at 30 minutes. When mine comes out, it still has a little bit of a texture to it. It's not really sticky, but it still has a little bit of a texture to it. So I am gonna start doing mine at 45 minutes. So when the timer goes off for that, you just turn the oven off and let it cool all the way back down. And then your cup or your plate or whatever it is that you're doing is completely heat set. And so you are ready to use it. You can probably use it in the dishwasher on uh, the, the top rack, uh, as long as it's not like the high scrub, high temperature, you know, pot and pan things, but it's just easier just to make sure that you do it by hand, and that way you're gonna make sure that something's not gonna happen in the dishwasher, something's not gonna bump up against it, or it get too hot in there, and something just kinda of, kind of melt and slide. That would look weird. But, um, but yeah, that's how inks are used. So it's just really, really super simple. Anybody can do this. Um, I've had my five-year-old, uh, five-year-old, ah, I need to be kicked, my six-year-old, grandson he has stenciled with me before and he loves to do it uh, he gets a little happy with the chalk paste every once in a while but i've not let him get a hold of the inks yet and no he'll get something on him and it won't come out but chalk paste no problem i mean it'll just wash right out if he gets it on him but he can do it um i mean it's just so super simple it's just one of the easiest things that you can do to make something that looks so high-end that you bought it from somewhere and people are gonna go, ooh. And then you're sitting there going, it took me two minutes. And that can be your secret. That can be your secret. Or you can say, you know what? I can show you how to do it too. And that's what I like to do, is I enjoy this so much that I wanna show absolutely everybody how to do all this. So let me check my notes here, make sure I haven't missed anything yet. 
da 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 Oh, yes. Um, the, the shopping link for this party is still viable. It will go through uh, tomorrow, which is Monday, the 19th, till 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's when I'm going to, what they call, close the party. And then I can start looking at all the orders. I can start writing down the names of all the people that placed a $30 or more order, put their name in the bowl, and then I can um, choose a name, and that will be our mystery hostess. And Tuesday evening is when I will post in the, um, in the group who our mystery hostess turned out to be. But I'm going to contact them first so that, you know, they're not all super surprised and going, oh, my God. Um, I'm going to let them know first, and then I will announce it in the, in the group. So, invite your friends, invite your family, uh, if you've got crafty neighbors, or, you know, maybe the teacher at school has been looking for something to do with the kids, um, if you're back in school. I don't know. Not everybody is, but um, here, they're still going to school. But there's a lot of places that's not. But if your kids are in school and they're needing some kind of a little activity to do, maybe you want them to be out of your hair for a little while. Set them down with some chalk paste and some of the little chalk rounds, the little round ones or the little heart-shaped ones, and let them make things. They can make gift tags for, uh, for uh, birthday gifts or um, Mother's Day presents or something for the grandparents. It's always super easy to give them something to do and they just enjoy it so very much. So, just keep all that in mind. Uh, Y'all have a great Sunday evening. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna post the link to the shopping page uh, underneath this video. So if you have any questions or anything, just get in touch with me. You can either ask the question in uh, the group page or you can send me a messenger message. Message me on messenger. There we go. I'd rather say text me, but I am not putting my phone number on Facebook. I'm sorry. Um, but if you request it privately, I will give it to you. That won't be a problem. Um, but anyway, y'all have a great evening, and I will check in with y'all later. Bye.